Good morning and welcome to school today. It is Friday. Let me scoot over so the flags are a little bit better. Yay, Friday. Um, and we'll sing our song at the end. So let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let's see what we're having for lunch today, the 2nd of December. We're having cheesy breadsticks, or that's what's on the menu, garden salad, marinara cups, applesauce, and cookies. Got any second birthdays? Today is Bryson Turner's birthday. It is also um, Olivia Franklin's birthday, and it is also Angelica Valencia's birthday. And then over the weekend, Carter Hammond celebrates a birthday, and so does Colton Dunlap. Noah Johnson has a Sunday birthday, and Edgar Gonzalez has a Sunday birthday. And I think that's all of those guys. And then I don't think we have any teacher. Yeah, we don't have any teacher birthdays for a week or so. And then let's see. We've got a couple of half birthdays. These are people who have birthdays in June. Okay. Um, and it is uh, Grayson Job's birthday. And let's see, over the weekend, Leo Santos celebrates a half birthday. Jacob Sweetek celebrates a half birthday. Brindley Cobb celebrates a half birthday. Eric Kovalchuk has a half birthday. And Aria Anderson have half birthdays over the weekend, too. All right, let's look at our attendance from yesterday. Still not great, but we're getting better, I think. 92.5. If I round that up, that's 93. But remember, we're really shooting for at least 96. Congratulations to Miss Lee's class. They have had 30 days of perfect attendance. Um, they had perfect attendance yesterday, and so did Miss Miller's class. Fifth grade had the best attendance yesterday. They'll be dismissed first. All right, remember our manner of the week is when asking for something, say please. All righty, and just a quick reminder, make sure that you have your bottom on a number in the cafeteria, okay? Just helps with so many things. Congratulations to Ms. Perkins' class. They have completed their sixth red oak chart. And let's see, I've got some eye ready slips today. Lily Valle uh, did hard work and growth in reading. Ash Thomas also hard work and growth in reading. So did Dean Nelson. I think there might be one stuck behind Dean. Is it? Nope. Uh, Mia Mesa, Nova Hurd. Um, Olivia Franklin, one of the birthday folks, Alexa Davis, Colette Coleman, Declan Burgess, Mia Baranoff, and Avery, oops, wait, let me see if Mia was reading. Mia might have been math. Mia's math, and Mia's math, she's our first math person with hard work and growth. growth. Avery Mulkey in math, and then Sutton Pickerel passed 40 lessons at over 80%. Sophia Torchlow passed 60 at 80 or, 80 or higher. Um, let's see. I can't. Let me look and see what those guys. Those are reading. Math. Brantley Banks. Um, eighty percent. Forty lessons. Audrey Nassano. Math. Sixty lessons at eighty percent or higher. Lucy Ludwig. Forty percent at eighty or eighty percent or higher. Forty lessons. Eighty percent or higher. All right. Got some Red Oak role models. Emma Cardona. Oh, I've got our weekly Red Oak role models. The winners for this week were Natalie Lee and. Um, Daniel Muncie, see Ms. Nisano today for your prize, okay? Emma Cardona from Ms. Quinn's class set a good example. Jalen um, Hampton also set a good example, and so did Adriana Reynolds. Some of these are um, So did Alicia Faulkner, Alicia. Christian Sam Stamper set a good example, and Olivia Wallace. Good job, you guys. Um, so did Kenna Gaylor and Colton Dunlap. Caitlin Perry um, has rocked this week during whole group learning. Molly Hobbs has been an active listener and used appropriate responses. <coughs> Excuse me, David Kaneko caught a mistake Miss Lee made. Tyson Wright, this is from Miss Nasano. He was following all of those red oak rules. He's got all, almost all the check boxes. Aria Patrick is always trying her hardest and works towards meeting her academic goals. Great job, Aria. And Riley Johnson is giving her best effort to meet her mid-year goals. All right, so you've probably noticed that Ms. Carlola has started to create um, our presentation of what is happening in our book. Okay, so be watching to see. Remember yesterday when our uh, the heroine of our story, the girl hero, 
um, what is her name? I have forgotten. Hannah. When Hannah was out looking for firewood, kindling, remember we talked about kindling being little pieces of wood to start a fire, she found one black boot and she put it on. And if you remember, the only thing she had on her feet was rags because she didn't have any shoes. All right, let's see what happens with Miss Hannah today. So, Hannah headed back to the ramshackle cabin, limping her way through the snow. Her warm left foot stepped nimbly, nimbly means just like so easily, as her cold right foot struggled to keep up. This boot is quite a fine, Hannah cried to the walls of her cabin. Where do you suppose it came from? But the walls did not respond. Of course, there were walls. And she slipped into bed that night. She stared at the one boot and said, I only wish I had your mate. Then she drifted right off to sleep. Come on, Boot, Hannah said the next morning, time to get to work. But as she slid her legs over the left, over the side of the bed, she didn't see just one black boot, she saw two. Glory be, Hannah said to the right boot, how'd you get here? But the boot didn't say. Then Hannah Grayweather placed her boot into both feet of warm, her both feet into warm black boots. They fit most comfortably. All right, we'll see what happens on Monday with her, okay? You're going to start to get a few hints as you see what Miss Carlola has done um, outside by the, the windows on the way to lunch. All right, let's sing our Red Oak song with Miss Doval. Mm, respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn, do our best. Own our behavior and always treat others the way that we want to be treated and know we can and know we can R E D O A K R E D O A K R E D O A K Red Oak Remember, it's super important to me that you are kind to one another, that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves, and that our hallways and our bathrooms are silent places. Teachers, um, be sure that you check the, the Flamingo Friday message. They're all trivia questions about holiday movies, um, and they'll come about once an hour or so. Um, text me your answer and a picture of your flamingo, please. Okay, guys, make sure that, oh, fifth graders, good luck today. I am so proud of you for the work you've been doing with your speeches. Um, I'll try to pop in a little bit and see what's going on, take a few pictures. Um, teachers, if you have anybody dressed in their red oak shirt for spirit day, if you don't mind to send just a couple of quick pictures so we can post that on Facebook. Um, do your work, guys. Do it well. Be on your very best behavior because we have lots of visitors in the buildings today, in our building today, all right? Have a great day. See you guys on Monday. Love you guys.